Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. I am excited because instrument inventor Maori Miranen, known as Telletunes, has sent me these four instruments to try. They are telescopic flutes, 3D printed, beautiful colours. What is it? <laughs> These are not recorders because they don't have a thumb hole. They have six holes like a normal Irish whistle, but as you may have heard, they're tuned a little bit differently. This one is in C Aeolian mode. The immediate things that strike me about this is the beautiful tone. It's really, you can make it quite airy or very clear, depending on how you blow. And it overblows those first two notes of the octave. So the range is. The range isn't very wide, however. Let's look at the next one. That is never gonna get old. Next up, we have a black hexagonal flute. I don't think I've ever played a flute shaped like a hexagon before. When you whoosh it out, uh, you might want to just kind of check the connections, make sure it's fully pulled out, make sure it's nice and straight. This one is tuned much more like a diatonic uh, whistle. Got a recorder. Ah! It's in D. It's in the same key as a recorder. Concert pitch. Imagine rocking up to the folk session in the pub. You sit down by the fire. The only thing I notice is because of the way it's put together, sometimes the joints can move around a bit. So you have to be a little bit more careful with the pressure you put on the instrument when you're playing it than with a regular recorder. Have I finished yet? Oh no. <laughs> we have another hexagonal flute, but it's a tiny little baby and it's a spiral. Look at this little thing. Five holes rather than six. rings. With a lot of creative forked fingerings I can get closer to a chromatic scale. Does this one overblow? Yes, but to something very very high. That's because of the shape of the bore. Look how wide it is here and how narrow. That is an extreme cone. Recorders have a conical bore, but I don't think it's quite as extreme as this. That's gonna make the overtones and the registers um, wild. <laughs> Am I finished? No. Do I have something even more exciting to show you? Yes. Prepare yourselves. Oh yes, it is a double flute. I know you're into double flutes and recorders because I posted a video a week or two ago, you liked it a lot. I'm just gonna do it one more time because it's so much fun. And I also say I love the the colours, we've got like this iridescent orange, bluey green. On our double telescopic flute we've got a drone pipe, no holes, that's gonna be one single note and then we have a second pipe with six holes.
it's so, oh, what a sound. It's so otherworldly, off in the distance, this, wow. It's in C Aeolian. So I've actually shown all of these flutes already over on my TikTok and a bunch of you there have been asking me questions that I'm gonna answer now. Before I do that, can I ask you a question? I would love if you could put in the comments how you found Team Recorder. Um, I've been going for nearly eight years with this channel now and um, I just, yeah, where are you all coming from? You used to come from Facebook, then you were coming from Instagram. Are you coming from TikTok now? Are you finding me just on YouTube? Uh, did you read about it in the Recorder magazine? Um, the, the landscape of social media has changed so much over the time that I've been busy being a YouTuber. Um, so who are you? <laughs> where did you find this little corner of the internet? All right, TikTok questions. Can we change the tuning by changing the length of the pipe? Common sense would say yes. Let's find out. Starting with the drone of the double flute. Oh, interesting. If I push this entire bottom joint in, we get, is that even a half step higher? Bottom two joints in and we've got a fourth above, the F. So yes, you can change the note of the drone pipe by pushing it in. I notice it makes the sound more woolly, basically because the bore of the instrument is then full of stuff. Is it handy to play in a real life setting? Probably not. Let's try it with um, my favorite sounding flute, the hexagonal one. Just a reminder. I pushed all the joints of the flute in, but the pitch didn't change. Why? Simplified answer, the pitch of a recorder or whistle is determined by the first place the air escapes. That's this hole up here. You're effectively making the instrument this long. And if your air can escape here, it doesn't matter so much what you do down here. Now, if we close all of the finger holes, the air has to escape out the end. And then it does make a difference how long the pipe is. Again, is that useful in a real life musical setting? I don't know. Because to have to stop between each note and go is a bit annoying. Oh, can I play them closed? No. Oh! I'm sure there's loads of composers who are going to be like, so there we have it. If you have more questions about the telescopic flutes, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll answer them here below or on TikTok. Go and follow me on TikTok. Thank you so much to Maori for sending me these to try. If you'd like to get your own telescopic flute whistle recorder thingies, uh, link in the description. You can buy that on Teletunes Etsy. And there we go. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Over here's the Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support the channel. Here's some more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.